Qplus is a projection software for LG Chem membranes. In version 3.0, several changes were made to the program. This video will highlight the major updates only batch calculation, design wizard, multitasking, and summary functions. The design wizard function facilitates the RO system design process for both skilled and new users. This will guide users through the design process step by step. Start by clicking the Design tab and click the Wizard button. In the first tab, enter the basic information and click Next. In the Units section, please select the appropriate units for the system and click Next. Here, you will enter the feed source, feed temperature, pH, and water characteristics. Flow loss and salt passage increase will be set at default value based on the choice of water source from the drop down menu, but you can also set it manually. In the next section, enter the ion composition of the feed water. On the next tab, enter the flow information of the system. The wizard only supports up to two pass systems. The plant capacity section will populate automatically once the flow rate section is filled out. The next section is for setting up an energy recovery device for the system, if there is any. If there is no energy recovery device in the system, skip on to the next section. In the final section, pass and stage configuration will be set up. Enter the number of pressure vessels in each stage and pass length of the pressure vessel, and choose the element type. Click Done when you finish entering the configuration. Now your system design is displayed. Click the Calculate button on the top right corner to see the projection result. Now let's move on to the Batch Calculation function. Batch Calculation Auto runs a single projection under various conditions. Click the Batch Calculate button at the top right corner of the main panel. If the design is not saved, you will be asked to save the file first. Users can use feed temperature, feed pH, and membrane age as parameters. Start from sets the calculation start point, and end at sets the end point. Increment sets the frequency of the calculation. Let's try batch calculation with pH as a variable. Set the starting point to 4 and the ending point to 8. Set the increment to 2. Once the user clicks Start Batch Calculate button and sets the destination folder for the projection results, the software will run the projection at the pH level of 4, 6, and 8. Since the program performs several calculations, it will take some time. Once the calculation is complete, the destination folder will open up and the user can check the projection results. Customized batch calculation is a newly added function. It allows users to enter up to seven conditions. This will be useful for users who need to examine several conditions of a projection with more than a single variable. Click batch calculation and click customized condition. The user can enter feed temperature, feed pH, feed type, and membrane age case by case. Click Start Batch Calculate after setting all the variables, and the calculation will run just like the normal batch calculation process. The multitasking function allows users to work on several projects at a time. When a user opens up a project, the program will create a new tab. Each tab contains distinct project information. A user can also create an exact copy of the design. Go to the File tab and click Duplicate Project, and it will copy the project's information. This will help users to examine different conditions of a project. Each condition in a tab can be saved as a single file.
The summary function allows users to summarize the major parameters of several designs in a single file. Click the Summary button at the top right corner of the main panel. Drag and drop or browse the files that you want to summarize and click Start Calculate. The program will generate the summarized version of the selected projects in an Excel file. The Excel file will be in the units that are used in the software. Thank you for watching the video, and we hope it helped. If you have any further questions or you want to learn more about the program, please contact LG Chem's application engineer team.